Hi guys, what's going on? I'm Evo Loz, and today we are back with another episode of Ostriv. So if you remember last time, we were starting to expand our industry a little bit. We had built up a tannery to turn our cow hides into leather. We were in the middle of constructing a shoemaker shop, and we have been constructing additional cart parking. Um, I think this was probably an error on my part. I noticed that uh, the three starting carts you get at the beginning of the game were continually out. And I think this was causing some delays for the labourers as they weren't able to move things around as quickly and as efficiently as they should be. So I got another cart parking built and the carpenter has been tasked with building four carts. He's got two of them done and I think the third one has just been finished and he's going to take that over to the, the cart parking site now. Which is excellent. Oh no, he's not he's using his cart to take in wood to build more carts. <laughs> So we still had problems with our bridge, which has slightly uh, gone wrong. We need to get rid of that, that getting demolished at some point. All the crops are growing well. So we've still got our two potato fields, our um, wheat field, and then we've also got two sunflower fields on the go. Um, so we also need to get another plough set up for this farm. And we are going to be rotating these fields. So once these sunflower fields are harvested, these will go offline for next year. Um, I think we might have just hit harvest time as well. August. It will soon be harvest time. Um, once these... Uh, yeah, so next year we'll use these two fields for sunflowers. And these two fields will be left fallow so they get a chance to recover because sunflowers use a lot of resources from the field. <coughs> We're also going to have to look at rotating these fields around. Initially I thought I'd be okay just growing potatoes, but I'm probably going to have to rotate these fields as well. So that's something I'm going to have to consider. Whether if we get enough food I might use them as something like hemp fields, something like that. Since, you know, we've still got 20 potatoes and we've not even started the harvest yet. Or we could just have an entire fallow year. I, I may use them for hemp, three fields of hemp. Um, and then that, that, that hemp doesn't really use a lot in terms of nutrients. If you just look at an empty field. Yeah, hemp's very low apart from um, whatever the blue one is and, and uh, potatoes and wheat uh, don't really use any blue at all. So yeah, so this year we'll probably have three hemp fields and we'll rotate the two sunflower seals. So what else do we need to build? Obviously uh, in the, I did a, um, a patch 4 update episode um, which looked at the new buildings and things and the main one of that was the warehouse. So I, I uh, built that warehouse in the update video, but that really wasn't part of the series, so I didn't save that. So we're going to have to rebuild that warehouse now. And I'm going to place this sort of towards the edge in the industry sector, since that kind of fits in with the buildings around here, with the shoemakers and all that sort of thing. So we'll cancel the guy working at the tannery for the moment, since we aren't really set up to do any sort of uh, meat production or leather production at the moment. Uh, we also need to think about getting access to more cows. But the, the, my problem worry is the cost economically, since um, such a large part of my budget is is just being lost every year. You know, another 50 or whatever it is to get uh, someone to go and visit the trade shop um, is just an expense. I, I don't know if it's worthwhile. And then the cost of actually buying the cows and bringing them over, I'm not sure if it's worth the investment. So that's one field harvested. They're now busy harvesting away all the wheat. Do they do it with? I'm curious if the uh, animation does it with anything like a sickle or something, or if it's just a. Oh yes, they have got little sickles. Ah, that's nice. Nice detail. Uh, we've also got more houses being built on the edge of the village. This is good. We're trying to increase our village population. Um, although this is obviously going to put uh, an increased strain on the farming sort of sector. So we are eventually going to have to look going forward at building another farms out this way to make sure we keep well on top of food production. In terms of fish, I've not really had very many people, if any, working the fisheries at all um, <clears throat> this year because we had such an excess of food from the potatoes. I didn't bother. Maybe next year we'll have sort of two people working uh, the fisheries just to provide a little base stock of fish as well as wheat and potatoes. And once the sunflowers are in, we're also going to have to worry about um, staffing the oil workshop. And then we're going to build up a supply of oil. Now this could be worth having 
to sell um, to some of the other villages when we want to buy cows because I think oil has a pretty good price so it could be worth selling Oop, I think that's our house finished it is and some people have moved in my other worry is going to be um, sort of peasant wealth see like these people are almost completely uh, bankrupt but I don't understand really why you know mother is unemployed when there is a full-on demand for labor plus the father is a carpenter so you'd think they think they'd be okay but their their, their money shortage is going to cause them issues going forwards yeah the mother is a laborer farmer is the laborer so I think um, a lot of people say that when they start to get later on they start to struggle not only with their own uh, economy but also with the economy of the peasants as they, they start to run out of money very quickly because they find they're too regularly unemployed. The mill is still yeah, the mill is still busy working away converting wheat to wheat to flour. So obviously if you want to do that on a large scale, you uh, obviously need multiple mills because it's not a very or, or maybe this is something that the uh, production ratio needs to be increased on in the game because it's taking, you know, this is wheat that's left over from the last harvest and it still hasn't been turned to flour yet. Which isn't ideal. So we're up to a population of 50 now. It's a nice round number. Um, most of the harvest is in. It's, well, most of the uh, potato harvest is in. We've still got all the sunflower harvest to do. But hopefully some of the labourers will switch over to this harvest um, once they've finished this potato field here. <coughs> oh, it looks like they're going to be gathering the stuff in first. Hmm, I'd rather they harvested the potato, the uh, sunflowers, because once we hit winter, if we hit snows, um, so I think we've got one or two more months before we then get into trouble on the harvesting front. Yeah, okay, well, I'd like to see progress is being made there. Uh, so we've got a warehouse built there, we've got a Carts. We've got two market stalls up and running, both of which should be well stocked with flour and potatoes. Obviously, there's no fish because, well, there's no fish. Um, sowing season's over, obviously. Yeah, they're gathering in all the wheat out of the field. What's this making our potato stocks? See, our potato stocks are now just very vast, um, and we've still got another whole field of potatoes to come in yet. So that's why I'm pretty confident we can afford to have. Um, you know, a year of hemp. Poor woman on her own is slowly picking a million sunflowers. <laughs> um, I'm disappointed these cows didn't breed. I would have liked to have had a, an extra cow from them. But <clears throat> it doesn't look like it's uh, meant to be, unfortunately. So we might as well build while we're waiting. Another house. I don't want it to join, do I? Okay, let's join it. Rotate it slightly. It's just slightly a uh, skew, which is annoying. Oh well, okay, I'll have to do. Um, yeah, I don't want to do mass house building. It might be. Um, more productive and more time efficient just to sort of build a, a you know a vast array of houses all at the same time but I don't want to suddenly put vast load on the population when I don't need to and uh, my worry would be that uh, you know we could enter food problems or we could break some other service that I wasn't expecting and cause as much trouble for me then you know as, as, it, as it helps so let's swap all these fields over to hemp There we go. Is hemp is that the hemp of the weed variety? <laughs> We're either going to have some nice clothes or all going to be really high. Um, so that's something else we're going to have to build. Now we're going to have three fields of hemp grown for a year. Yeah, we've got to keep a close eye on food for one. Since we've now well, we've got plenty: forty-five potato and twenty-one point six wheat. That is a fair stock 
all food and um, we've also got flour available as well um, so we've got to keep an eye on that um, all the sunflowers are being brought in but yes we need to build a production building we want um, a weavers workshop it produces textile from hemp so we're gonna have to build one of this this is obviously going to be built in the uh, the crafting sector of my my town so we've got that to build there and we also then need a tailor's workshop go there I quite like this little uh, sort of industry sector we've got all our, our little production buildings based around here it's nice to have everything like that together um, and from that then we should be able to produce clothes from our hemp now I, I don't know how much hemp um, we're gonna get from food fields whether it's gonna give us sort of um, you know enough supplies to last us years and years or or not at all I do not know that's something we'll have to find out um, so all the sunflowers are in by the looks of it they're just getting the last few bits in so that means we now need to assign someone to <coughs> yeah so there's we got what have we got 16 point it's gonna be at 17 sunflowers once it's all into the house so 17.7 .7 sunflowers so I want to assign a worker to the oil workshop so unfortunately I can't hire a woman for the oil workshop but there we go we've got someone now working at the oil workshop um, so he should now start gathering the sunflowers and turning it into sunflower oil which is what we want and then that's what we're going to be selling we're also going to have to think about which I've got no excess workers who aren't doing anything now we want people at all the farms and the um, cow sheds to make sure everyone stays all the cows stay well watered uh, someone at the granary which is storing food which is fine factory has got someone working there um, smithy probably doesn't really need someone working there to be honest Oops. you can be fired so we've got an abundance of nails um, we can't fire the mayor okay so I'm also going to assign someone probably maybe to the warehouse I'm thinking I'm also thinking I'm glad I built these extra cars, carts half of them are out already um, so that means you know we've got three, uh, five carts currently in use so I think it was a well worthwhile building those extra carts um, yes yeah, so I'm going to assign a worker to the warehouse oh we've got a female worker uh, so and this warehouse is going to store well some flowers seems to 10 sunflowers. It won't let me store sunflower oil, but that may be because none is currently produced. So there's a sunflower in the actual building. Okay, so we now have one sunflower oil in there. Will that now let me store sunflower oil? So I'll store as much sunflower oil as I can <coughs> in the warehouse. And I think from the warehouse it allows it to then be traded um, to the trading post and to other, other villages near Rye. <coughs> Apologies for the cough. I've uh, developed a bit of a, a sore throat or a cough, cold, etc. So the weaver's workshop's flying up. Uh, we could make some shoes, but since I've only got three leather, I don't think there's really a lot of point. And there's not really any more extra supply of leather forthcoming, so I don't think it's something really worth bothering with. Uh, so we're going to deactivate these two fields, turn this one to sunflower, and activate and activate. So the farm should have two, two active fields, which it does, and they're 100% uh, fields, which is excellent. So I hadn't realised this before actually, sorry, but my slightly slow with this game still. So when you're going on the farm it shows you your fields, one to four, and it's showing you um, their current resource effectiveness look. So they've just got basically very little available to grow in them. We could conceivably plant hemp in these two, since there's a reasonable amount there, but then we're just going to end up with such an enormous hemp harvest, which I, I just don't think is really necessary. Or is it? Or is it? Should we? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oops, what colour? Hemp. Hemp. 
So next year, these should all get planted once we get back down to around to the summer. Um, and we're going to have two sunflower seeds and two hemp fields there. These are all going to be hemp. So if we click on the farm here, we'll see that the nutrients have been dragged down a little bit from the wheat and the potatoes. So we're going to have a season of hemp. Hopefully these two, the red and green nutrients, will recover significantly. And then we can go back to planting potatoes and wheat um, for food production. Which is excellent. We also need to think about maybe building another farm shortly. Um, although we've still got Weaver's Workshop, Taylor's Workshop to be built yet. Oh, we're starting to head into winter now. November will soon hit the snows. Um, it has oil coming along. Uh, producing a, a little bit, not a, not a two sunflower oil store. Yeah, and it's got a reasonable amount of production for the sunflower situation. Uh, this has almost turned into one solid patch of road now that's been so regularly travelled. All the people milling around. I still like the road networks, I like how they develop. I like how we've developed a bit of a road network between the fields. That's nice, I like this one. And I've nearly finished the uh, weaver's workshop. <coughs> Waiting for someone to bring one wood down. Come on man, where are you? There he is. I see, he says. Come on, get a builder there. I want to get this uh, weaver's workshop finished off. For no particular reason, since we don't yet have any hemp. And it will be a whole year before we do. But still, there we go. I do like the buildings in this game. I think they have a nice look about them. Well modelled. Good shadows. Yeah, very well done. Right, as we just start to head into winter, we should start to see the snows now, and I think we shall leave it there. I hope you've kind of enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I think things went pretty well. We've got a good harvest in. We have now got, you know, absolutely tons of food. Um, 20 wheat. 41 potatoes, so I think we're pretty safe on the food front for this winter. But after the earlier episode's trouble, you know, I certainly don't want to risk that one again. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. If you have, please comment down below, let me know what you think. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, and if you really enjoyed it, you could even think about subscribing. Thanks, guys, and I shall see you on the next one.